Right now is the best time for you to farm the Sepulchre's Doom Knight armor, as there is a Dark Spirit Orb boost going on for 72 hours. Getting Dark Spirit Orbs is the hardest part of the grind, so this is super useful if you're farming it. Before we start, these quests are member exclusive. First, you want to go and Veil, Sepulchre's Armor quest, begin the quest, and do Sepulchre's Armor. You want to go to slash join Shadowfall. Here, you want to click on this NPC, click Doom Knight, and you want to buy the Doom Knight hood. After you buy this helm, you go back to Necropolis. Here, you want to accept Veil's quest for some Dark Spirit Orbs. To complete this quest, you need to go to slash join Blood Rot 4. Here, you want to kill this monster until he drops a Shadow Serpent Scythe. Next, you go to slash join Ruins, and here you kill the Dark Witch six times until she drops all the Shadow Whiskers. Next, you go to slash join Blood Rot 2. Here you kill the Shadow Creeper monster until it drops Shadow Creepers and Chant. You need to complete this quest until you have 100 Dark Spirit Orbs and you'll finally have the Sepulchre's Armor quest complete. Now here you need to accept the quest The Doom That Looms and for this all you need to do is get the Doom Knight class. Here you can buy the Doom Knight class for either 2000 ACs or for 10,000 gold. You can actually sell the Doom Knight class for 1800 ACs after you're done. So technically it only costs 200 ACs. To get to the non-AC way, you need rank 5 evil, rank 10 warrior, and rank 10 healer. Next, you need to complete the Toiling with Terror quest. Here, you just need to go to slash join Arkengrove. You go through this portal and into here, and you accept this daily quest from Reens. The Elder's Blood Potion. Just kill 50 Gorillophants, and you'll get one Elder's Blood. This is a daily quest that can only be done once. Next, you need to go to slash join Battle Under B. And from here, you go through this door, into Battle Under A. And you kill this Bone Teller. Bone Terror until they drop the Shadow Terror Axe. Once you have both items, you'll have completed Toiling with Terror. Next, you need to do a penny for your forts. You go, just go to Slash Join Mall. You kill monsters in these rooms until you have 20 Doom Coins. And once you turn them in, you'll be able to complete the quest. Next, we do the Dark Spirit Donation Quest. You need 100 Dark Spirit Orbs and a Dark Skull. To get the Dark Spirit Orbs, I recommend doing the Penny for Your Forts quest and Toiling with Terror, which you should have already done by now. And to get the Dark Skull, you just go down here, and you kill this Shadow Imp until he drops what we need. Now before we continue with doing any more quests, we're gonna need 10,500 Dark Spirit Orbs. This is the hardest part of the entire grind, so once you do this, everything else is much easier. To get the 10,500 as fast as possible, I recommend doing Toiling with Terror every single day, as it gives you 100 Dark Spirit Orbs. And also, doing Penny for Your Forts as the quest to get Dark Spirit Orbs, instead of the Dark Spirit Orb quest. However, if the Shadow Creep and Chan ever drops from this quest, you should do the Dark Spirit Orb quest because you're already halfway through it just by getting this item. These are the only three quests you'll need to get your 10,500 Dark Spirit Orbs. And if the Dark Spirit Orb boost is still on right now, I encourage you to get off this video and farm them as soon as possible and as much as you can. Once you have the 10.5k orbs, you click on Veil, Hex Quests, and you accept Hardcore Metals. You go to Slash Join Stalagbite. And here you kill 30 Balboa monsters, and you also look out for them to drop the Axe of the Prospector. Once you've completed the quest, you can turn it in and get any metal you want. You should accept the Arsenic metal and turn it in. Here we accept the Accursed Arsenic Hex quest. We already have an Arsenic and Dark Spirit Orb, so we just need 26 Dark Energies and 16 Deadly Nightshade. We go to Slash Join Arkengrove, and we just kill a bunch of Seed Spitters to get the 16 Deadly Nightshades. And once you get the Nightshades, you go to Slash Join Null Gap, and you kill the Dark Makai's here for Dark Energy. Once you turn in your Cursed Arsenic Hex, you get the Cursed Arsenic Metal. There'll be an option here saying Metals of Doom Quest. You accept a Cursed Arsenic of Doom, and you click on Shop, Merge Shop, and use all your Dark Spirit Orbs to make Corrupt Spirit Orbs and Ominous Auras. Once you have two Ominous Auras and five Corrupt Spirit Orbs, you go to Slash Join Dwarf Hold. Here you kill Albino Bats to drop the Forge Key. And then you go to Geopetal NPC, you get a cursed, a cursed Arsenic of Doom. Here, once you have your Corrupt Spirit Orbs, Ominous Auras, and your Cursed Arsenic, you can make the Cursed Arsenic of Doom. Here you need to do all the three weapon kit quests, starting off with Doom, Squ Doom Squire weapon kit. I'll complete each one in a row, but sped up, and so you guys can see how to do it.
once you've done all the weapon kit quests, you can finally make the first weapon. Go to shops, merge shop, and you want to make the daggers of destruction, which you need to use to make the shadow daggers, and you need one ominous aura for that. To get that ominous aura, you're going to need to do the Doom Knight weapon kit quest until it drops an ominous aura, and then you make the necrotic daggers of destruction. After making the daggers, you want to make the necrotic broadsword of bane. To make, to make the necrotic broadsword, you're going to need to choose chromium metal this time, and you'll also need one diabolical aura. To get the diabolical aura, you need to click on veil again, and do the pinpoint pieces quest. You accept the one with the daggers, which gives you 5 ominous aura every time you complete it. You go to slash join dwarf hold. Here you kill these chaos drows until you get 10 doom knight armor pieces. After you get 10, you'll have 5 ominous auras. Once you get enough ominous auras, you can make a diabolical aura with 25. And then you can finally make the necrotic broadsword of bane. Next, you're going to need to make the necrotic bow of the shadows. For this, you need to do the same thing, and once again, you'll need a diabolical aura, but this time you need the rhodium metal. Once you have all three weapons, you can finally do the final part of the quest, the Make Sepulchre's Armor quest. For this, you need a bunch of corrupt spirit orbs, ominous auras, diabolical auras, and the doom aura, and also some dark spirit orbs. To get these, which are the hardest part, you're going to need to go to slash join dwarf hold again, but this time you should accept all of the pinpoint pieces quest, the daggers, the broadsword, and the bow. Once you're here, you just keep killing these chaos drows and completing these quests. Each quest gives you a different reward, either diabolical aura, corrupt spirit orbs and dark spirit orbs, and also ominous aura. You keep doing these until you have enough resources to complete the Sepulchre's Doom Knight armor quest. Each quest gives you 1%, each quest has a 1% chance of dropping a Doom Aura, and you'll do all these quests over 100 times, so chances are you'll probably get a Doom Aura. If you don't get a Doom Aura, you just need to make the Necrotic Scythe, which has a 100% chance of giving you a Doom Aura. But that's only last resort if you don't get it. Once you have enough Corrupt Spirit Orbs, Ominous Auras, Diabolical Auras, and a Doom Aura, and Dark Spirit Orbs, you just need one more item, the Heart of Darkness. To get this, you go to Slash Join Ruins, And you kill this dark elemental until he drops the last item, the dark car. And with that, you've completed the Sepulchre's Doom Knight armor quest, and you can finally get the armor. Like the video if this guide was useful, and subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time.